Hello Bookish Friends and welcome to another top 5 video. Uh, in this top 5 video, uh, I will uh, do a list uh, that I was inspired to do uh, because of a uh, response video by Steve Danihu that he did uh, in response to uh, Nick Stewart's video uh, titled Reading Pet Peeves. Reading Pet Peeves uh, were described uh, as uh, both uh, by Nick Stewart and Steve Danihu. Pet peeves uh, not regarding to the book but regarding to the reader and the reading process of the reader. So let's see which reading pet peeves that I could find uh, about myself. Uh, the fifth uh, reading pet peeve uh, that I will talk about is that uh, I prefer to uh, read series in order. This makes sense uh, when the books uh, do uh, follow a single story, especially in the in the series in which the stories end with a cliffhanger. And it also makes sense when there is a general overall plot and when the same characters are the main uh, char characters in the series. Uh, but when I uh, read a book without knowing that it was a part of a series, even if it can be read as a standalone book, uh, I immediately regret it. And it is true uh, even uh, for a series uh, like uh, the books are the companions of each other and uh, the main uh, and the main characters are not uh, the same uh, or uh, do not even appear in the series. Uh, I still prefer to read uh, those books in order, which makes my reading uh, very, very uh, frustrating sometimes in order to make it uh, a bit easier for me uh, to read the books in the series uh, in order uh, i've made a separate uh, goodreads shelf uh, which i called uh, next in a series and this shelf really helps me to uh, figure out uh, which books to uh, buy or uh, land uh, or uh, download in my sources which i do read books My fourth pet peeve uh, is that I prefer uh, not to read more than uh, two books uh, from a single genre back to back. Sometimes uh, when I join uh, genre-based readathons, uh, for example, for uh, Christie's Missing Readathon, which I'm a co-host of, uh, I of course uh, do read a uh, mystery uh, genre back to back. Other than uh, such readathons, uh, I always like to mix. Uh, different genres uh, while reading and I have to say I do not find this reading pet peeve problematic uh, because it helps me uh, to be a more diverse reader uh, and uh, it also helps me uh, not to get uh, bored uh, or uh, burned out uh, from a single genre or a single author so I will say this is a pet peeve that I actually do not uh, think of changing <laughs> My third pet peeve is that uh, I watch a movie and I really, really do like it. And then I found out uh, that it was adapted from a book. Uh, and and believe it or not, that really makes me uh, sad and disappointed. Uh, because uh, if I like a movie, uh, I will most probably read the book as well. Comparing the original works with the adaptations was one of the biggest motivations of starting this channel, actually. But my uh, obsession of trying to watch the adaptation after reading the book is at a crazy level right now. You should really see my uh, watch later lists from various streaming services. Uh, they are full of uh, movies and TV series uh, that I plan to read uh, the book of. So I think I need to relax and be m more realistic about allowing myself to watch the adaptation first before reading the book. And my second reading pet peeve is also related to the series. Uh, I like reading uh, books from series uh, because if they follow a single character, you identify with the character and uh, start to care for the uh, characters in the series. Uh, and if I uh, decide to uh, continue with a series, uh, that means I really like to be in the uh, world uh, that is created by the author. But my pet peeve uh, is I really do get uh, annoyed uh, when uh, the series that I'm in the middle of uh, exceeds a certain number 
As I mentioned before, I have a uh, Goodreads shelf called Nexina series. And I was fine with the uh, reasonable number of uh, 23 uh, when the year started. Uh, but as of right now, uh, I have uh, 35 series uh, in that shelf. Two books in the series that I follow have not come out yet. Uh, so the number is uh, 33. But I started to feel annoyed when the number exceeded 25. There are at least 10 or 12 series that I really, really want to start as soon as possible. I have a very big contradiction about what kind of a series reader I want to be. I think I need to decide uh, on a goal uh, to manage the situation. I made a temporary goal of uh, updating the series cup so that uh, I would binge read the series uh, that I have uh, only two or one book left to finish. Uh, because if I finish uh, those uh, series, the number uh, would get close to 25, which seems to be my limit. My pet peeve in the first place is related uh, to the fact uh, that I can read in uh, two languages, uh, Turkish and English. I try to read English books uh, in their original form, which is not surprising. But if there is a uh, Turkish translation, I need to be uh, fine with uh, reading uh, the Turkish translation of the book too. This reading pet peeve is especially uh, significant uh, in the fact uh, that I hardly ever read Shakespeare at all. Uh, I consider myself uh, quite a uh, good uh, reader and a speaker of English, uh, but, uh, but Shakespeare's English is very hard for me to understand. Uh, and there are um, numerous very, very good translations of uh, Shakespeare works in Turkish. Uh, but I refuse to read them uh, because of this uh, very unreasonable uh, stubbornness of trying to read the English works in their original text. For September, uh, I think I will read uh, a Shakespeare in Turkish just to break this uh, unreasonable stubbornness to read uh, even Shakespeare in its original form. Those were some of my reading pet peeves. Uh, with the exception of one, I'm thinking of uh, trying to uh, come up uh, with a strategy uh, to overcome uh, these uh, pet peeves. Please comment down below uh, what is your uh, biggest uh, reading pet peeve that is not related uh, to the book content. If you're a new viewer, first of all, welcome. Uh, please like and subscribe. Hope to see you very soon. Bye. For Turkish word only, I'm going to choose order. Order means sıra. Turkish and Sıra is our Turkish word of the day. Have a good day.